All right, I'm back, and this time it's my DVD collection. So let's get right to it. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the damn channel. Now, the first one, I don't know where the case went, but we're going to start with Jake the Snake Roberts, Pick Your Poison. Now, this is one of my favorite documentaries and DVDs they did. This was, I believe, 05. This was in the era when, you know, they had bought ECW, and they is WWE. They bought ECW, WCW, AWA, I think they bought everybody except Memphis at that time. And they started doing like the historical documentaries of, you know, different legends, their life story. So Pillman, Jake, Dusty, so on and so forth. This Jake the Snake is real interesting. Um, you know, this is the one where he mentioned how they were going to do the Hogan, him and Hogan, but the crowd was cheering too much, which Dave Meltzer refutes. But who he's a mark, so who cares what he thinks? But Jake the Snake two disc DVD, excellent, excellent, hopefully the picture quality is on this one, I'm using a different uh, camera app, but uh, I love this DVD, I don't know where the case went, but uh, after that, excuse any noise, after that, then we have, I don't know where the hell the case went for this one, but we have the ROH Greatest Rivalries, now this, much like my VHS collection, some of these DVDs, uh, they were uh, given to me. Some of them I bought. Some of them people left at my house. So, like this one. I, I didn't buy this one. I don't think I've even watched it. But ROH, Greatest Rivalries, you know, um, this is basically the classic era of ROH. This is this came out in 08, I believe. It came out on Koch. Not Koch Records, but whatever. Uh, I don't think I ever watched it. I, I was never into ROH like that. But uh, here we go. Now, this was a set that I liked. And this was the best of Raw, this three DVD set. You know, it's from 93 to 08. This is the 15th anniversary DVD set. Um, I like this, but to me, this will be the very best moments of Raw. And they miss so much of it. I mean, when you have disc one, Shawn Michaels... I could not stand him when he had that damn mullet. But this is 93 to 97. And let me just fix this up a little bit. There we go. Pillman's got the gun. Um, ECW Invasion. It had the, the Henning Flair match. It had, I believe, the first... Um, I believe it had the first main event, which, under, which was Undertaker versus some jobber. I forget his name. Some freaking deacon looking dude with Pauls. But um, to me, they missed so many moments and so many matches. And I really didn't understand the selection of this. Um, or really all three of the discs. It, it was kind of disappointing, but it was kind of good because it did have classic moments. But there's so many things they missed. But um, I watched these so many times. You know, disc two. This was uh, Attitude Era pretty much. 98 to 02. They just missed so many moments. And this is also the era of the World Wrestling Entertainment when the panda took the F out. And they had to get the F out. And this is the annoying era where they had to blur out the Attitude Era logo on every turnbuckle, on every sign. It was so annoying. And they used to have gigantic, like, blurry symbols. It was, oh, God. And, like, um, you know, this DVD, you know, they got Austin Tyson... You know, uh, the, the famous DX, you know, presidential report when uh, the outlaws threw Funk and Cactus. You know, many, many, many great uh, moments. But this this disc is 98 to 02. And literally, they put one moment from the year 2000, which was Jericho winning the belt, which is tremendous pop. But most most of the uh, this, this disc, it's 98, 99. And they put one moment from 2000. And I, I don't I don't even understand that. 2000 is arg arguably the greatest year in the company's history. And they put one moment. And then they put two moments from 2001. Shane buys the company and then Kurt Angle sprays milk. I mean, come on. Why not? I, mean, this, I, I don't want to make this video too long about things, but this was kind of disappointing. But then it did have some classic moments on it. And then the last disc from it was the Cena era, which... Ugh, Cena... You know, when Kane takes the mask off, it's, it was always funny to me, Cena's throwback jersey, they, like, photoshopped the team name, so it was just a big-ass orange jersey with, 
a 13 on it. Horn Schwaggle, oh God, and McMahon's son. Edge doing the concerto to somebody. Who gives a damn? It's, it's, it's even ridiculous. The back of it says, this is the disc 3, 03 to 08. They had two moments from 2003. From 2003 to 2008, the best time would be 03. They had two moments. And then 08, this came out in like late 07, but it says 08, so I don't get that. But um, this was, this was the most disappointing disc of it. You know, they have the rock concert and Kane unmasking. That's all they put. They didn't put Goldberg. 03, they didn't put Goldberg's debut. They didn't put... So many different things, but whatever. And 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 the description, even though the one, <laughs> even though the one upsmanship of the Monday Night War has ended, the last five years of Raw have continued to shock and amaze the entertainment world. <laughs> Please, I I want to cuss. I'm about to spit on this case. Oh my God, just just whatever. We see the launch of Cena, Orton, and other superstars into stardom. Superstardom. Whatever. Whatever. Then, this was a disappointing show. This show, the crowd was dead. Oh, my God. It was... It, it, the whole... Oh, just... It was like a buried alive match. The crowd was dead. This was in, I believe, Phoenix, Arizona. And also, it had one of the worst endings. Oh, my God. This might get my, this might get my channel flag. SummerSlam 2003. I believe this was Phoenix. This was a disappointing show. That yes, this is the show where they beat Goldberg in. in <laughs> they beat Goldberg. This is the show where Triple H he didn't want to face Goldberg one on one. So then, and plus, I think half his groin was torn because Stephanie pegged him and pulled something. And um, but this show was so disappointing. Undertaker versus A Train. Oh my! Oh my God! They were pushing the A Train. Matt Bloom, Prince Albert. Why? It didn't work when they pushed him in 01, making him the Intercontinental Champion with X Factor. But let's do it again. This show, Shane vs. Bischoff, and I think uh, this is the show where Jonathan Coachman turns heel. Just disappointing. Oh, my God. Just had to beat Goldberg again for Triple H's ego. Now, this show, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Check out my VHS tape video, which is on this channel. Uh, that's a tremendous video. Very long. That's what she said. This was a... I, I don't know, like, I, I, I remember, this was the first um, full pay-per-view I ever saw live. Um, I don't know, I thought this show was always average. It's kind of average to good. It's, it has an iconic match, and that's WrestleMania 18, Hogan vs. The Rock. Um, I like this show because it's still WWF, it's still that era. You still had mega stars, but this show was kind of average to me as a show, Rock Hogan's incredible. I don't understand this Mark. Well, that is the reason why. The Mark Meltzer talking about. D Dave Meltzer has some of the stupidest ways of thinking, if you want to call it thinking, in the world. Meltzer said on the Hogan-Rock match, well, if you watch the match but turn the sound off, it's really not that good. <sighs> How about we just turn the sound off on Dave Meltzer? This, uh... This is also another show where Triple H ego was bruised and uh, he thought he could follow the Hogan rock match and he couldn't. And uh, even Jericho knew that they couldn't, but whatever. Jericho's in Canada. Uh, I don't know if it's focusing, probably. Might be too damn close. See Jericho, all blue, like a jobber. Um, this had a lot of matches on it. Th this show was all right. Um, I like it for the era. The, the opening match was Van Damme versus Regal. That was a good match. Um... Yeah, it was solid. Austin versus Scott Hall. Scott Hall takes that cartoon bump for the stunner. Whatever. Now here's a um Now here's a DVD. This was kind of disappointing as well, and it was basically a copy of what I just showed you. It was the best of Raw the first two years. This is the problem with this DVD is it's just a weak era. 93, 94 WWF is very weak. The cartoon era. Um, I mean, yeah, Shawn Michaels and that damn mullet. You know, Mr. Perfect, Doink, Brett, Yokozuna, Luger, Undertaker, obviously in the middle. But this is kind of this is kind of a weak tape to me, or a weak DVD to me. It does, I believe, it does have the classic, and I believe the uh, I believe the the disc one 
that I showed earlier with the Shawn Michaels 93 to 97, it I, I believe these both do have the classic Brett versus one two three kid match where uh, Savage gives it a standing ovation. Yeah, it's right there. If you can see, right there, Brett versus one two three kid that classic match. But th this DVD, if you don't have it or never saw it, you didn't miss nothing really. All right, so. From that, we go to this. This is all right. This is all right. This is also something they were heavy on, which was these big, like, I don't know, box sets. So I don't know. I guess it's a box set. And this one was all right to me. It could have been much better if they had more of his matches, more of his quality matches. And that would be The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. There we go. That was damn thing too long. Um, it looks cool. It looks cool. Open it up for you. That's what she said. The Rock. I'm surprised they have him assaulting Triple H. That was a rule in the company. We can't show Triple H in a bad light. The Rock tonguing the microphone. Slapping the hell out of Mick Foley. They'll show you that. I'll open up again. Three disc. There we go. Sixteen. Him slapping. I mean, this whole thing is him slapping people. All right. Then we uh, go to the back of it. This is an all right DVD. Once again, if you never see saw this, you kind of you didn't really miss anything really. It's a very to me. It's like a very soft, very like very elementary summary of the Rock's career. They could have did so much more. Now this was a good DVD. I I do hate like the last disc because it's 2000 where the company was destroyed. But the first two discs are pretty good and that is the best of Nitro. The best of WCW Nitro. There we go. All right. The back of it. DDP is the world champion. And open this up. Sting, Kidman, Hogan dropping the leg. Can't show Nash in a bad light. Then the disc upside down. Goldberg, world champion as he should have always been. Then you have the three disc. This, this is this is this is fine. I just, I I don't like the third disc because it's kind of like you watch ninety six and ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine. Then you get to two thousand. It's like God damn. Now, this, to me, is the greatest wrestling DVD ever made. This showed the history. This showed how to build a company. This showed how a company can fall. I love this DVD. It never gets old. And that's The Rise and Fall of ECW. Oh, I love this. I believe this came with the uh, first One Night Stand. I believe. Tremendous DVD. You see Heyman, Taz, the Dudleys, Raven, Austin, Don Marie with no bra. Thank you. Terry Funk, BWO, Van Dam. Forgive me if the camera is not focusing so much. Using some new technology here. Then you have the two disc set. There you go. Scratch like hell, but it works. This is when DVDs and CDs were made tough. Now, this is another one. Very disappointing. And this is also the era where they had the. I think they blurred out the logos in this era, too. I don't know. This is very disappointing. I don't even remember getting this. This might have been one someone got me or it came by accident. I don't know. <laughs> that's what she said. And that's Shawn Michaels from The Vault. This was released in, I believe, 03 when he made his comeback. Uh, th this picture, I am I believe, is from WrestleMania 19. I think it may have been in Seattle. Once again, this is disappointing to me. It had a couple matches on it. Um, I mean, I mean, it had matches on it, but I, I was disappointed. A lot of the matches I had already seen. You know, ladder match, Razor Ramon, Undertaker, I believe, Hell in a Cell. This is a good DVD. I, I really enjoyed this show. This was a fun pay-per-view. Royal Rumble 2003. Good Lord, I'm trying to get this right. Royal Rumble 03. Okay. 
to me, this this show, people overreact to the Triple H Steiner match. I mean, it, it was just like a below average match. Like these the, the Mark going crazy. But I like this show. Uh, Lesnar and a uh, uh, Big Show have a match. Lesnar is throwing the Big Show around, like <laughs> Brock Lesnar. The the man he he did have times when he was on the sauce, but he didn't need it. Brock Lesnar is naturally frighteningly, uh, freakishly strong. But um, this is a good show. This is also Undertaker gets his the Undertaker gets his revenge on Maven the next year. Uh, Angle and Benoit had one of the best matches ever. Good pay per view. I think there's another year where Booker T lasted like two minutes. This show to me, this is to me, this is the best WrestleMania I ever seen. I still, I still have never seen seventeen. I, I don't know why. Well, I, I guess I do know why, but I've never seen WrestleMania seventeen. I kind of see it, but of all the WrestleManias I've seen, this is the best one ever, and that's WrestleMania nineteen. Hogan and Vince, <laughs> they had like the best match on the show, and, and Piper came out the crowd. With a beer gut from hell. Lesnar damn near breaks his neck. And, and breaks Kurt Angle's neck like two months before. Um, this was a hell of a show. This is another show Triple H doesn't put someone over. Um, tremendous. Rockin' Austin one more time. Uh, Jericho, Shawn Michaels. Just a great show. Limp Biscuit performed. Now this show is very, very, very disappointing. Oh my God, I'm so disappointed by this show. I'm so disappointed by this show. This show should have been great, and I think this show showed the issues that ECW had, and that was the ECW November to remember '98. This this could have been something. This was supposed to be like the new Triple Threat: Sabu, Van Dam, and Taz. It's in New Orleans. It was a disaster. I. Like, I, there are certain segments on the show. Like, they have some segment where, like, Terry Funk is, like, rambling and he's going all over the place. It's just terrible. Just terrible. Um, I, I don't want to watch Tommy Rogers in 1998. Move this stuff out of the way for a moment. Hit that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. There we go. An appropriate height. There we go. Maybe put brush this on Triple H. That's what she said. But uh, this is a very disappointing show. Um, I don't even. I can't even say what was the best match on here. The main event was just a disaster. Triple Threat versus RVD, Taz, and Sabu. Apparently, this is the infamous night where Van Dam slapped Taz backstage, and then uh, there was something like Shane Douglas was getting drugs from New Jack, and then New Jack beat up Junkyard Dog. I don't know, something, I don't know. <laughs> All types of nonsense. Um, this is a compilation I really enjoyed. This is of ECW. This is... Well, they actually put... Okay, I didn't know they could do this. They actually put WWF and WCW in the font on the back, but ECW Extreme Evolution. Basically, these were compilations that Heyman put out um, these are really good to give to someone to introduce them to ECW. It has a lot of the great classic matches, fuse, uh, some angles. You know, this one has the uh, RVD Jerry Lynn from May of 99. This has Awesome and Tanaka from 99. Sandman Raven from 96. Classic feud. Um, Dudley's on here. Sabu vs. Taz from Barely Legal. Uh, Dreamer and Beulah vs. Shane and, and uh, Francine. Oh my goodness, Francine. Come on, this is the time to focus, damn it. The hell? Focus. I'm focused. Damn. Once again, I, I don't know what it is about my DVD collection. I really love the VHS tapes. I have a lot of disappointing DVDs. What the hell? This is another one. The crowd was dead the whole show. And so was the angle. And that is Unforgiven 2001. Frightening cover. This is in Pittsburgh. Kurt Angle vs. Austin for the WWF title. Rock Rock vs. Booker T and Shane. Handicap for the WCW title. Why? Um, this is, about, uh, I believe, two weeks after 9-11. About two weeks. Um, this show was just disappointing. Van Dam vs. Jericho for the hardcore title. I believe that was probably the best match. Oh, this had Undertaker and Kane vs. Chronic. Oh. 
Ah, oh, man. Now, ironically, it, this is also the time when they put my two favorites, Raven and Terry Runnels, they put them together as a duo. But, uh, disappointing show. Now we're going to go to another ECW compilation. This was ECW Deep Impact. <laughs> another pause. Totally raw and uncensored. Deep Impact. All right. And, um, this one actually has Austin and uh, Sandman and Mikey Whipwreck in that three-way dance from uh, December 95. Funk vs. Sabu in the, in the uh, that infamous barbed wire match, which was disgusting, where Sabu's bicep is, like, ripped open, then he, like, super glues it in the match on the camera. Bigelow vs. Taz when they go to the ring. This is another good one, another good compilation. I really enjoyed these. This pay-per-view, I like this pay-per-view. Um, this was when WWE's buy rates were really crashing, but I enjoyed this show. Um, I watched it so many times. I don't know how many people have. Maybe just me. And the cover art was very cool. And uh, that's Survivor Series 2004. Um, the main event, this is when they, they had the uh, Eric Bischoff was going to leave for a month to take a vacation because he's sick of these wrestlers. So it was Evolution. And it, it was uh, not, well, it was Batista, Triple H, Edge, and Snitsky versus Benoit, Jericho, Maven, and who was the last one? Who was the last one in that match? Orton. It was Orton. So, yeah, this is also when they had butchered the Orton title win, and oh, God. Also, this does have Undertaker versus Heidenreich. And Heyman's in his corner, and I believe this is when uh, Heidenreich had uh, taken Michael Cole against his will. <laughs> Shelton Benjamin versus Christian was a fine match. This is also when they're doing the Cena and Carlito. Cena got stabbed in a nightclub by Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank the most high for Bruce Pritchard. Now this show, this show ticks me off. I never saw this full show. I have I have the case, and I never saw this full show, and this is WrestleMania 20. Now, when I say I never saw this full show, it's because I got this DVD. You know, you know what? No, I think I did see it. I think I did see it, but I might might have like watched this whole thing once or twice because years and years and years ago, someone came over to my house, and they wanted to borrow this WrestleMania, and I was like. Or I think, I can't remember what it was, but I don't know if you, like, we watched the first disc, but then they had to go home, and they were like, oh, can I can I borrow the second disc so I could watch the end of the show? And I was like, sure. Great. That was back in, like, 2000, I think, 8, 2009. It's now 2024. I still do not have the second disc. I don't know how Benoit won the match. Oh, my God. This I had to put this in a PS2 uh, case, and you know, so sometimes you run out of cases. I, this fool took the original case. I have disc one. I don't know how it ended. Damn. WrestleMania 20. Man, this case don't even close. This is from, this is a PS2 case. I don't know what this was. A uh, Dave Mira BMX, a uh, Crazy Taxi. I don't know. Madden 02. I don't know. All right. This one. Um. I think this. I think I ordered like other DVDs, and this just came with it. Cause I have the original airing on VHS, but it's the Raw 10th anniversary, which was kind of pointless. It was basically like a fake award show at the World, aka WWF New York, aka WWE New York. Basically, it's, it's just an award show for the 10 years of Raw, and the awards were ridiculous. Like they they gave awards to people that should not have even got it. Like, this is 2003, and they gave, like, Best Diva to Trish. Trish was only... On, Trish had only been, like, wrestling in, in a, a character for about two years on the show. She wasn't even at her peak yet. This is February 03. They just couldn't give it to Sable or China. Uh, whatever, whatever. Wrestling awards. They're as meaningless as the real award shows. This is another good DVD, but the only problem is... They left out certain things and but but this was I think this is when they first really started doing DVDs. This is 03, so maybe I don't know, they didn't do they didn't have the disc sets thing yet, but the Monday Night Wars. Um I really like this DVD. 
uh, this is 03. I wonder if at this time they just weren't doing multiple discs like that because this is a DVD that they should have had like so many matches and segments as bonuses. I think the bonuses on this, it's like six matches or six segments. It's like nothing. But when they tell the story of it, it's very well done, except they they did not mention Crow Sting at all. Um, I think they were very short on Goldberg. Like th there's certain things that like they didn't mention or they glanced over. But this is a good documentary. I really enjoyed it. They did this right when Bischoff came in the company to interview him. This is one of my favorite DVDs. But it could they could have been even better. But I really like this a lot. Um, the extras are limiting, and I, and and the extras I don't even understand why they pick them. The extras is about ninety minutes, and the matches they pick. This is the Monday Night Wars, and the matches they put to watch on this DVD are Austin and Shawn Michaels versus Bulldog and Owen. No one remembers that. Shawn Michaels and Triple H versus Road Warriors when they shaved Road Warrior Hawks Mohawk. And then they put two match they put two raw matches the whole time. 95 to 01. That was the two raw matches. Two matches from 97. And then the two matches they put from Nitro and the whole time is Benoit versus Booker T and Goldberg beating Hogan for the belt. It's like they they put four matches. Like this, I mean, this is 03, but they could have done more than this. But I still, I still really enjoy this documentary, this DVD. It's very, it, it's very well done. It's just, it, it could have been even better. And I believe this is the last one of these, I believe, which is ECW Hardcore History, another compilation. I don't think that's New Jack. Might be his cousin. And, uh, you know, this is more classic matches. Th the matches on here are from 95, 96 era. So this is like when Benoit and Malenko was there. Eliminators, Pitbulls. This is another good one. This has the classic Rey Mysterio versus Juventud at the ECW Arena. This also has the classic um, uh, Bulldozer, Primetime, Brian Lee versus Dreamer. I think it's the one where he chokeslams Dreamer off the Raven's Nest, I think. I believe that one through 10 tables. I think they put that in the Beyond the Mac commercial. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, uh, share this video. You can donate to the Cash App if you enjoy this channel, the content. The Cash App is XDN Online. It's also, the link is in the description. And follow my other channels, the links are in the description. This is a WrestleMania I really, 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 really like. Um, a lot of people don't for whatever reason, but I really like this WrestleMania. And that's WrestleMania 15, a raging climax. I mean, good Lord, McMahon just loved the sexual puns and look at him now. Um, I like this show. It had a horrible, horrible match of Undertaker and Bossman, Hell in a Cell. And it was, I, I, you know, I don't get offended by things really, but I was offended by the, the imagery of Bossman being hung. Uh, oh God. But anyway, but I like this show and I think maybe the Sable Tory match was horrible. This is when Bart Gunn got knocked off out. Um, but I like this show. Um, I love the theme song, the the opening video with like Freddie Blassie and I think Ernie Ladd, and it was like the old timers. We can't do it anymore, but we watch them now because they can. I, I I love the theatrics of this period and uh, the build up. It was cinematic. It was beautiful. This is a um. This is a good uh, documentary, good uh, disc. Uh, and this is the history of the Undertaker. I watched this so many times when i first got this oh my god i watched it so much it, it scratched to death um the history of the undertaker um self-explanatory basically it has um pretty much his biggest matches in the 90s is all on here there's a match on here also in 03 with cena i think it was at was it no mercy it was some pay-per-view and it has the most violent chair shot in the history of life. I don't know, like, I don't think on YouTube you can find it, but there is this chair shot Undertaker gave Cena where the chair, like, went around Cena's neck. Oh, my God. It sounded like a shotgun went off. But this is a very good DVD, one of my favorites, The History of the Undertaker. I would recommend uh, purchase, purchasing this one if you can still find it on Amazon or somewhere. This is, this is very good. And then... Uh, Oh, Lord, I got a bunch more. And then here we go, One Night Stand 05, the original. 
Love this. This is one of the greatest pay-per-views ever. This is one of the greatest nights in wrestling history. Only thing about it, about the DVD I don't like is they had to dub the music so you don't get Inner Sandman. But, you know, legal purposes, even though I'm sure they could have afforded it, but whatever. But this is one of the greatest pay-per-views ever. This is a must-have. If you are a wrestling fan, were a fan, a new fan, will be a fan, you need to own this. You need to own the DVD. You need to see this show on Peacock, however you can get it. This is a iconic, one of the greatest pay-per-views ever. Oh, I have another one of ECW. ECW Path of Destruction. Let me move this stuff out the way. Excuse the lighting. There we go. Path of Destruction. This was, uh, this is a mix of matches from 95 to 99. Um, they have the, they have one of the, uh, this might be like the longest fatal four-way match ever. Jericho versus Pitbull number two versus Shane versus Tuco Scorpio. I believe that was for the TV title. And, um, I think, I can't remember. Was this the match where Jericho leaves to go to WCW after? I think it might have been. Um, this match also has the Ian Rotten versus Axel Rotten, the glass, the tape, the Taipei, what was it? It was like uh, Taipei death match where they they tape glass to their to their <laughs> to their hands. Insanity. Um, this has Eddie Guerrero versus Dean Malenko from '95. This has the first. Actually, this ha this one has the first Rey Mysterio Psychosis ECW match from '95. This is a good DVD. I like this one. Um, I really like the, like the um, the graphics and the loading screens. And this was uh this was a good story telling one and had the good good matches. Um and you also got to see like them in their house and what they do and things. And that's the Hardy Boys Leap of Faith. This is a very good DVD. This I believe this was I believe this came out in 2001. You get to um like they have a part where they show like Jeff Hardy like riding his dirt bikes and the inside of his house at the time and this is when they were young and just starting to get beat up by the road, but um, this is a very good documentary, very good DVD. I would recommend purchase, purchasing this if you like the Hardy Boys. This is a good one. Oh my god, should I save this one for last? Maybe I should save this one for last. Yeah, I'm gonna save this one for last. I'll put that to the side. This is a good one, too. This one is this isn't really a well, this is basically this is like a promo CD. But it was uh, the best of WrestleMania from '85 to 2000. I forgot how I I forgot what this came with. I I don't know if this came with. It might have came with my WrestleMania 2000 VHS. I don't know. I don't remember how I got this. But this is like a disc. It, it's like a summary of the first 16, 15, 15, 16 WrestleManias. This this is good. Um, but it's it's like a promo CD. Of it shows like some quick highlight footage of WrestleMania. This is one I did not like. I didn't like how they did this, but to me it was kind of like too it's kind of like too elementary. It wasn't I, I don't know, it wasn't it was not it wasn't this had this lacked substance, but this was WWE greatest stars of the 90s. These DVDs I did not like because this is also when it would be like the greatest Okay, there was a minor uh, tech issue. Um, there was a DVD I threw in the trash, not this one. There was one they had, I think it was called, like, the Top 50 Greatest WWE Stars. And they put, like, Hulk Hogan at, like, number 9 and, like, Rey Mysterio at number 4. I was like, what the hell is this? I, I didn't like when they started doing these, like, the greatest of DVDs because it was just a bunch of agendas. Like, I think they had something like the greatest tag teams. They put New Day number 1 all time. I was like, what is this trash? Anyway, this is the inside. Shawn Michaels riding another man, as usual. Alright. The back of it, Shawn Michaels. Always has his crack his always has his crotch open. I don't really remember watching this DVD. The discs are very generic. Very generic. Alright. And then, you know, the anthology the Royal Rumble anthology. This is also very annoying. This one they had the big ass blurred out logos. Basically, it's just every Royal Rumble ever. And I'm just gonna skim through these. A lot of these is like ones people just gave me. I didn't even watch or want, but whatever. 
ECW unreleased. Eddie Guerrero story. I'm sorry, Eddie Guerrero. Uh, I, I, I just I never cared for Eddie Guerrero. I, I just think he's so overrated. He's a he's like a legend, but he's like an overrated legend. I don't know if I'm making sense. Uh, Flair. Best of American Bash, Great American Bash. This, I believe this one... Oh, no, no, this is not the one that disappointed me. The Best of War Games, I think that one I, I didn't like. The Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah, the cover looks nice, but... Once again, I don't really care for Shawn Michaels, but people just gave me... Sometimes, sometimes in life, when people know that you used to like something, they think you obsess over it, so they just give you things like, I don't want these... De I didn't want these. The last four I just showed, I didn't want them. This one was alright, except I believe Matt Stryker host, and who the hell wants to watch him? The best of SmackDown. Basically, it was the same thing as the best of Raw that I showed in the beginning, just SmackDown. This was much better, because it had like a hundred moments. Um, but it's just, uh, you gotta hear like Matt Stryker. Uh. This one I didn't I didn't I don't think I watched this one either. Someone just gave it to me. Attitude Era. I hate when they put the WWE logo on the WWF Attitude stuff. I get why, but I, I just hate that. It was not WWE Attitude, it was WWF, but whatever. This one was kind of disappointing as well. And I believe oh god, I think Matt Stryker was on this one too. Damn. This was the best of Savage. The one thing I like about this one, it does have the match with him and Bruno San Martino from Boston. And that's that's just interesting to see Bruno and Savage in the ring. And this picture, it kind of looks like Jesse Ventura to me, but whatever. Alright. Alright, let's get back to stuff I actually liked. WrestleMania goes Hollywood. WrestleMania 21. This is the, the show where they crown Cena and crown Batista. This is a very good show. I believe Adam Sandler was in the crowd. ZZ Top. This had the classic Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels. This had the horrible Big Show, Aki Bono. Batista and Cena crowned that evening. I remember getting this DVD. I remember watching it at the time. Wrestling was still watchable at this time. Cena hadn't completely uh, sold out yet. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what it is. And then to wrap this up, I don't really like this one either, but it's probably because I knew the whole story. But the NWO revolution, basically, basically they tell the story of NWO. All right. Another great WrestleMania. WrestleMania 22. I really enjoyed this one. This is when the crowd fully hated Cena. This is when... The, also, this these are the also the WrestleManias that had like the Hall of Fame disc. And, um... So this is when like Brett goes in, Guerrero goes in. This was a very good WrestleMania. The classic Edge, Mick Foley hardcore match. Rey Mysterio wins his first world title. Vince and Shawn Michaels. McMahon was heavy on the sauce. Just heavy. Cena was working hard that night. The Rey Mysterio match was very rushed, but he won his world title and it was a disaster after. This is a this is a good DVD. This is a good one. CM Punk Best in the World. Probably the last like really great one they put out. Yeah. And then this one disappointed me, and I believe it disappointed me because let me let me look at the matches. I think this disappointed me because they were missing the war games that I liked. But was this missing a war games? I don't. I don't remember. But I remember. I just. I don't know. Something about this disappointed me. I don't know why. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta like look through this again. But the best of war games. And last but not least, hit, hit that like button. I'm about to get up out of here. But last but not least, this might be my favorite one actually. The controversial. Self-destruction of the ultimate warrior. <laughs> I love this documentary. It's a burial, but it's so entertaining. These grown men burying the <laughs> burying the warrior. Now, the one thing that was disappointing about this documentary, 
they only put like five matches and it's like i remember hearing like that idiot brian alvarez when they announced this he was like well this is not going to be good because how many matches are they going to put on it? Because, of course, this Mark is not thinking about the story, the documentary. This Mark is thinking about, a warrior doesn't have a bunch of five-star matches. Shut the hell up. He has plenty of matches to put on here. They put him versus Terry Gibbs, which I think it was his debut. They put when he beat Honky Tonk Man at SummerSlam. Him versus Hogan at 90. WrestleMania. Him versus Rude in the Cage. And him versus Macho Man. There was many other matches they could have put on here, too. Many other ones. Warrior has Warrior does have good matches, but I was disappointed they only put like these five on it. But this is a great documentary, great DVD. And with that said, I'm up out of here, and that is it.